Hey guys, it's Full Kites here, live and direct from Brooklyn in New York, and in front of me today, check this thing out, I have an old school box of the 2002-2003 Upper Deck Series 2, which we are going to splice right through. Box break would be six young guns and two memorabilia cards in theory, eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box, 192 cards. And the base set runs 247 through 426 in this old gestation and configuration, which would only be 180 cards as opposed to 200 card base set. Young Guns run 427 through 456, which would only be 30 cards. This means that with six Young Guns at one and four, you actually have a 20% chance of hitting the Young Gun that you want as opposed to the typical 12%. So that's kind of cool if you're aiming for the Jason Spezza, for example. There are exclusives numbered to 75, and there are, of course, base inserts uh, and a whole slew of stew for you. So base inserts, number crunchers, last line of defense, shooting stars, they're all 1 and 12, so that would be two cards each. Then there are game used, in theory, two per box, and there's a whole slew of those two from the difference makers and bright futures and game jerseys, etc., to the pinpoint accurates, etc. Those are all one in 72, which is 33% chance, to one in 96, which would be a 25% chance. And there are also patch cards, which are super rare hits at one in 7,500, which would be 0.3%. Also auto jerseys, uh, which are and booklets, which are super, super, duper, duper uh, rarities. So let's uh, scrunch and pop a lop and scrape and scratch this box uh, into submission. The rookie class, Tim Thomas, Ryan Miller, Jason Spezza, Patrick Sharp, and Michael Telquist. I think other ones that you could potentially theoretically get would be in the Upper Deck Series 1. So you should check uh, the checklist. So let's get cracking. And this is what our box would look like, including the Stevie Y on the cover. Not bad. Why Stevie Y? Uh, just because. Because. So let's get going uh, with these. Matisse Oland, a filler and a thriller. Uh, there's Oli the goalie. That's actually a pretty nice card. And this would be a last line of defense insert. Stu Barnes, <laughs> look at Caberlet, Red Cheek, Red Lick, Caberlet, Mike Ricci, and these are really actually hard to read, unfortunately. Super, super scripty. A kind of nice, uh, nice look to these, I believe. There's Iggy, look at the back of these. Pretty standard back of Upper Deck Series 1, Series 2. Sakura. Another, <clears throat> pardon me, another last line of defense, and it'd be Jiggy. Really cool looking card. Marty Havlat. Uh, there are exclusives numbered to 75, so I might miss that. I'll catch him in the recap if I do, because I'm scrolling through. There's Matthew Dondineau, who also played on the halves. Greg DeVries, filler. Uh, and here is our first Young Guns, and it's Vernon Fiddler on the roof. Oh, Matt Cullen, who's now, I believe, the oldest player in the NHL at 42. And that was Modine. Okay. Fiddler was undrafted and played, I believe, on Nashville, played on the Preds, played, played on the Coyotes. So he actually was a bona fide NHLer, uh, albeit undrafted. There's Danny Heatley, uh, who was involved in a terrible car accident back in the day. Oh, look at this Claude Lemieux, uh, the father of the Lemieux now on the Rangers. Barnaby, Chad Kilger, and there's George LaRock, the bruiser. And the person who was killed in that car crash was a guy by the name of Dan Snyder, who was a teammate of Debbie Heatley's. And now there's an award, a humanitarian award uh, after him, I believe also a Man of the Year award, which is really nice and thoughtful and thought-provoking uh, when something that devastating occurs within our game. 
Jean-Luc Grandpierre. Filler. Uh, look at this. So this is a shooting stars of Simon Gagné. These are really hard to see and uh, differentiate, believe it or not, unfortunately. All base thus far, I believe. This feels somewhat thicker. Hmm. Put it aside. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see, shall we shall see sure within a minute or two. And continuing on, David Abersher. Man, these are really hard to read. Oh, look at this, another Young Guns. I think it's Ivan Majewski. Uh, he was undrafted. No, he was actually the ninth rounder in 2001. And I guess he went off to the Czech League, etc. So there's our second Young Gun, a not particularly big name uh, in hockey. There's Steve Shields. Continuing on. Man, these are hard to read. There's Yara Yager. Cool, nice to see Yara Yager. See what else we can navigate through. There's Mike Richter. Really cool to see Mike Richter. Uh, Stanley Cup winner, Mike Dunham. Manny Fernandez. And that would be Chris Draper. Falski, Parker, Robert Reichel. Oh, another one of those. Scott Thornton. And this is still a, this is another base card. Wow, they look like uh, inserts. This is Brian Leach and John Madden. There's Marc Messier, who has an award of leadership named after him. Mathieu Garon. I think we have a young gun in here. Uh, Jason Smith. And let's see who our young gun is. Stu Barnes. Uh, Thomas Caverlet. So we do have duplicates. This is our second Caverlet, I believe. And here is our young gun, and it's Sean Thornton, of all the young guns to receive. Sean Thornton, who is well known for spritzing water on PK's face live from the bench during a playoff game. Ah, uh, yeah, Sean Thornton, one of my least favorite players. Uh, nonetheless, Ren Shanahan and Bob Probert. Uh, I think Bob Probert died on his boat uh, of a heart attack at a young age, like 50 or something. Uh, of course, he's best known for his fights with Max Domi's dad. There's Alexandre Daigle, who was a notorious bust. There's Mike Ricci, Radic Bonk, and Aaron Miller. Radic Bonk, I believe, played with the Las Vegas Thunder before Las Vegas was an NHL team and then had a pretty decent career. Pretty exciting player. Here's Ron Francis. Ron Francis is fifth all time in the NHL with 1,798 points in 1,731 games, which would be a ratio of 1.04 points. Uh, but he is fifth all-time in points in the NHL. There's Alex Tanguay, who uh, now reports on RDS Online. Oh, look at this thing. Look at this really cool thing. So this is one of the number cruncher uh, inserts of Joe Thornton, who is ninth all-time in assists and 14th all-time in points in the NHL. Drafted first overall in 1997, a really cool insert uh, card. Those number crunchers are two per box, so that was the first one. And then here is the, oh, here's a checklist, a Joe Thornton checklist. Huh, what a nice looking card. It's, fu it's funny how it's all yellowed out. Very cool. That was a Joe Thornton pack. Continuing on here, Robert Lang, Colin White, Clausen,
Sheldon Sure, one of the best slap shots and most impactful people on the power play back in the day. I believe I have another young gun in here. Let's see. Steve Passmore, which is a not a very good name for a goaltender. Pretty good name for an assist player. Oh, look at this. Wayne Gretzky checklist. Look at that. 426. It's the Wayne Gretzky checklist, which is amazing because he had already retired by then. Huh. I like that. Those checklists are actually pretty hot. And we... Oh, cool. <laughs> Excellent. We hit the Ryan Miller young gun. That's awesome. That is... That is spectacular. Uh, drafted in 1999 by Buffalo in the fifth round, 755 games played, 377 wins. That would place him 16th all-time in wins. I have loads of love for Ryan Miller, one of my favorite players in the history of our game. So that was just, that was cool. He was, him and Tim Thomas are the ones that I would have wanted. So I'm really happy to receive that. Awesome. Continuing on, guys, there's Kasparitis, who was one of the biggest pests in our game, more so than even Nazem Kadri. Yannick Pro, Dan Cleary, Michael Hanzus, uh, who has a Stanley Cup, I believe. And he has played over a thousand games in the NHL on various teams. I think he got his Stanley Cup with Chicago, unless I'm mistaken. Matthew Schneider, who played on the Habs. And look at this, Pavel Datsuk, who went off to the KHL, who uh, is a perennial best defensive forward in the NHL. Pavel Datsuk has four Lady Bings, which he did in four consecutive years. He also has three Selkies, which he did in consecutive years, and uh, was also a plus-minus king. He probably, for all his offensive ability, the big thing about him was his defensive uh, gravitas. James Patrick. And here we hit the second one of the number crunchers. Uh, and this one is Ed Jovanovsky, who I believe was a first overall. And this is kind of cool. This is really, really nice looking card. I love these cards. They're, they are just crazy busy though. So much information. What does it say? It's really hard to see what it says. Oh, basically it's a penalty minutes number cruncher. Interesting. Brian Preck. Brendan Morrison. There's Vinny Donfus and Chris Neal. Man, they are so hard to read. Oh, we hit the Michael Telquist young gun. Interesting. Uh, Michael Telquist, of course, was drafted by Toronto in the third round in 2000, and he had a, played 114 games, ultimately went off to the KHL and the Swedish League. But we did hit the champion himself. Uh, so cool, we've hit a couple of the goalies, which is sort of, we actually had some named young guns. There's Chris Drury, still missing a young gun at this point. One left, David Legwan, and Trevor Kidd, who Sparks, Garrett Sparks, has copied the pads action off of. Uh, this has our last young gun, so I'm gonna put it aside just for a little bit of mystique. I think we've done half decent on the young gun front. Uh, there's Jamie Store, Stumple. Look at this thing. Backs are kind of interesting. Matt Johnson, Manny Lagasse. Still a few packs left. We are guaranteed at least one jersey. I think we're guaranteed two, in fact, so we shall see. There's Ron Tugnut, who twice put up over 60 saves. Uh, just a machine. A little bit inconsistent was Tugnut, but man, when he was on, he was scary. Craig Rivet, Mike York, Luke Richardson, and that would be hard to read. All right, guys, I think we're still missing a couple of inserts. I don't know if we had exclusives. I might have missed them. It's amazing because it's Series 2, there's a lot of third and fourth liners, which is actually kind of cool. I kind of like that. Makes it interesting. 
uh, hoping for a jersey card at some point. There's Zdeno Chara very early in his career. Uh, Brian Berard, Travis Green, who is now an NHL coach, I believe. He's the coach of Vancouver, and that would be Bell, I think. Okay, continuing on, guys. Uh, put a couple of packs aside, so it might be there might be a jersey in that. I know I put one young gun aside, so we'll see. We should have a couple of things left here. Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is a Stevie. This is a Stevie Y, and again, really hard to read. Uh, but it would be a Shooting Stars. So this is sort of the early rendition of the Shooting Stars with this really cool rainbowy foil, and it would be Stevie Y. That is a nice looking card. You can see it's the it has an insert lettering on it. Wow, that's a kind of cool looking card. I like that. I'll uh, unearth all those in the uh, recap in a minute here. Let's see, I think I'm owed two jerseys. We shall see. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe only one jersey. Okay, John LeClaire. Oh yeah, there's something here, I think it's a while, let's see. Bully Jokinen, Scott Young. I think we have something, unless I'm mistaken. Let's see, what is this? Okay, so this is a Brian Boucher. Oh, cool. Of course I hit a goalie. This is a Brian Boucher jersey card, Bright Futures jersey card. Really nice. I like that. Look at this, it's plain white, but it's, it's sort of like a quad. He was drafted in the first round, 22nd overall by Philadelphia in 1995, but he's played on multiple franchises. He played on the Flyers, played on Phoenix, played on Calgary, Chicago. He did play some 330 games, so actually it's a pretty cool hit. I always love hitting goaltenders. So let's see what else we have. I put another pack aside. I believe this one had Young Gun. Let's see. It does have a Young Gun. All right, let's see who it is. Let's see what it is. Teaming in. Marcus Nilsson. And our Young Gun would be Mike Camilleri. That's awesome. Next Flame, an ex Hab. Mike Camilleri, man, drafted uh, 49th overall in 2001 by the LA Kings, put up over 600 points in his career, was a sharpshooter. Camilleri, that's awesome. How cool is that? Okay, so a couple of other cards here. We got Andrew Chuck, who won the Stanley Cup in 2004 with the Bolts. Uh, who else? We have Brian Savage, who was also on the Habs, etc. Okay, last pack, guys. What is in our last pack? Did we receive a second jersey card? I thought we did. Let's see. Freddie Brathwaite, who played with Calgary as well. He also made some spectacular saves, uh, heroic saves back in the day. Smolinski. Oh, there's Chris Chelios, 26 seasons in the NHL. Not kidding around. Wow, a lot of third and fourth liners is actually kind of cool. Aaron Miller, Pierre Turgeon, the father of Dominic Turgeon. Adam Foote, Stanley Cup winner. And what is our last card here, guys? What do you think this is? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's a difference maker, so I believe that these are typically, what did I say, they're 1 in 72 or 1 in 96, so either a 33% chance or a 25% chance. And it, <laughs> did you see who it is? I, I think I just saw a peek. Put it this way, it's a duck. Look at this thing. Look at this cool difference maker jersey card of Paul Korea. How awesome is that? It's just a tiny bit dinged in the corner because it's so old school. But what a cool looking card. It's a plain white jersey, but it is a handsome card. I love it. What a cool card. Paul Korea drafted in the first round, fourth overall back in 1993. He put up 989 points in 989 games, a one point per game guy. I love Paul Korea. That is awesome. What a cool looking card. Amazing. All right, guys, what an interesting break. We hit a bunch of decent young guns. Okay, guys, time for the recap. Now, I wasn't wearing my glasses during that break, which made it kind of difficult, uh, but what did I say? Cards per pack, 24 packs per box, which would be 192 cards minus the inserts. 
loads of bass, some 180. There's Bob Probert, who died at 45 of a heart attack. He was the heavyweight champion in the NHL for many years until he was dethroned by Max Domi's dad. Uh, over 3,000 penalty minutes, fifth all time. Uh, some other ones, there's Fred Brathwaite, you may remember from Calgary. Uh, Kevin Weeks, who's now an analyst. Uh, there's Trevor Kidd, who Sparks has copied the pads look off of. So loads of uh, lesser known players as well, just a massive stack of even third and fourth liners uh, within the base set. Kind of cool, man. Uh, what else did we receive? We received a bunch of inserts. We received these uh, shooting stars as opposed to shining stars back in the day. There is Stevie Y and there is Simon Gagné and these are kind of cool foily uh, cards. So we did receive these two of these shooting stars. Uh, what else did we receive? What else is on deck? Uh, of, in terms of base checklists, we actually received a couple of the base checklists, and one would be the Wayner in retirement, and there is Joe Thornton. So that's kind of nifty to receive these two cool-looking checklists. I'll just toss them right over there. Uh, and then these number crunchers. Uh, so they do have information. So these are goals and penalty minutes. Uh, yeah, a lot of information on these uh, cards, but they're inserts one of 12, so we received two of them. Edjo Vinovsky was a first overall, and so was Joe Thornton. Both these cats were first overalls. So again, more inserts uh, all over the place, uh, if you will. We also received the last line of defense cards. These are kind of cool goaltender cards. We received the Oli the goalie, as well as the Jiggy. Jiggy, who won the Conn Smythe in defeat, also won the Cup. But the only other players, the goaltenders who did that, were Glenn Hall and Ronnie Hextall. So I love seeing a Jiggy card. A nice little Jigatronics uh, down here. What else did we receive? Um, just going through it. We also received a Bright Futures jersey card of Brian Boucher, who was a very capable goaltender within the NHL, posted about a 900 save percentage. He was drafted 22nd overall, played through seven NHL teams, something like that, as well as this cool Paul Correa old school one as well, Difference Makers. I believe both these cards are one in 72, so it would be a 33% chance. Paul Correa was a fourth overall in 1993, put up 989 points in 989 games. Uh, kind of cool to uh, recognize those factoids. And we have our Young Guns, an awesome stash of Young Guns. Vern Fiddler wasn't drafted, but he played almost 900 games. We have Majeski went off to the Czech and Slovak League. But we do have Sean Thornton, who was drafted in the seventh round by Toronto, a total pass with over 1,100 penalty minutes, uh, well known on Boston and for spritzing water in the face of P.K. Subban. We do have Michael Camilleri, uh, he was drafted, I believe, 49th overall by the Kings in 2001, well known on uh, the Calgary Frames in Montreal, over 640 points in the NHL, a sniper, as well as the legend himself, Michael Telquist, drafted in third round by Toronto in 2000, uh, over 100 games played in the NHL before going off to the KHL and Swedish League. Uh, kind of nice card. And my favorite here is Ryan Miller. I love the fact that I received Ryan Miller. Uh, drafted in the fifth round by Buffalo in 1999. Has played over 755 games in the NHL. Over 377 wins. Which places him 16th all time. Presently on your Mighty Ducks. Uh, the legend himself who was scored on for the Golden Gold in the Olympics. American born player. Awesome. Really cool uh, stash of young guns. A nice smattering. Uh, nothing to complain about there. Uh, I would happen to be a guy named Fulton Cards, live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York. Please subscribe. Please provide a like. This was a long, comprehensive break just because there's so many cards. I'm Fulton Cards, live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York.